Hi, it's Mrs. Foley again with some more digital research tips. So, most of you are familiar with EasyBib in order to create citations for anything like a website. However, when you're using database resources, there's something you should know. You don't need to use EasyBib as you would for anything else. Now, one of the drawbacks to EasyBib, if you're using it to cite a website, you often have to search for the author, the website title, the publisher, the date that it was published. However, with databases, you don't necessarily need to do that anymore. There's a much easier way. So, for example, I found this database article on school vacations. Now, all I have to do is scroll down to the very bottom of it, and I'll see that there's already a source citation formatted the same way that it would be in EasyBib. So what I would simply do in order to put this into my work cited is I would highlight it and then copy it and paste it. So all I would have to do, rather than going to EasyBib, is just simply copy and paste from here over into my work cited. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to link to it when you click on it. So that's a totally different scenario. If we want to link to something, we would click back over to our database article, and then you'll see the URL underneath the source citation. So what you can do is copy that URL and then go back over to your work and then you can take that citation and link it so that it will go to that URL when you click on it. So from this point forward if we present our work or if we just click on it once and click the link underneath then it'll bring us to our source and it'll be completely formatted in the correct format. 